Here's a mother for Mother's Day, my mother, Mona Wood, and I'm going to ask her a couple of questions. First of all, Mom, tell us your mother's full name. Dolores Geneva Sims. And what was she like? Oh, she was delightful. She was very attractive. Uh, she liked to play bridge. She liked to hike, and she loved to fish. Cool. And uh, where are you from originally? Um, I was born in Springfield, Missouri, but we went west where my father's family were. And so most of my time I was spent, I was raised in Oregon. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you ever thought this, but uh, growing up, did your mom and dad ever do something that you thought, when I'm a parent, I'm never going to do that? <laughs> Uh, I can definitely remember a couple of things. <laughs> uh, of course, the time then was different, but they would go out for a dinner or something, and they'd leave my brother and I at home, and they'd say, now, you're not to answer the door, uh, et cetera, et cetera, you know, all of this stuff. And so my brother really took command, and he'd tell me, be quiet. There might be somebody outside. So he was always scaring me a little bit, but on the other hand, he was protecting me too. But I would never today, raising my kids, leave them alone. <laughs> Especially with an older brother. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that the times have changed. Yeah. Well, and it was I... far more serious today than it would be other times. Right, right. I, and not just because I'm an older brother. Yeah. Um, and there's another thing that they made us do. My mother made good meals, everything was well balanced, except that you had the everything on your plate because there was some putty in some part of the world that was going to starve to death if we didn't eat it. Yeah, that's been going around for a long time, the <laughs> clean plate club. That's right, but then I changed it to mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you don't like what you have on your plate, you have to eat one bite for every year of your age. <laughs> I definitely remember that, and just for the record, uh, I never thought once that my parents are doing something, and when I'm a parent, I will never do that. Never thought that once. <laughs> um, how about, uh, okay, why don't you say something about my birth, when, where, how? Oh, we were living in Port Angeles, Washington. Merrill was flying for the Coast Guard, and uh, it was a four-hour drive in order to get from Port Angeles where the doctor was in Tacoma, Washington. But you see, you were a double footling breach, so there was plenty of time <laughs> to get there. And so you were born on December the 20th, and you came home on Christmas Day, so you were a Christmas baby. Um, Meryl, your dad, um, wasn't a cook. He didn't do much in that department, so there wasn't a lot of food at the house, but he did bring the dog along with him to pick, <laughs> pick us up at the hospital. And then on our way back, we found a, a filling station, a gas station that was open that had a little store, and we were able to pick up a loaf of bread some cheese, American cheese, and a can of tomato soup. And that was our Christmas dinner. Well, that sounds lovely. So, uh, and just kind of the uh, parting question is, uh, uh, which of your three kids do you love the most? I love all of them. Right, right. Well, we know that when you say that, you really mean me. So uh, thank you very much. <laughs>